everyone, it is Mona here at Craft Clutch and today I'm going to make a resin butterfly and you can hang it on your wall. I've gotten this little resin butterfly mold online a while ago and I'll have it linked over on my website at craftclutch.com in case you would like to find one. Now I have this extreme acrylic paint and this is the hologram so I'm going to just do some of the areas that are indented on the wings and put that on here. I believe it dries clear and you just kind of get that sparkle that's left behind. And if you've watched some of my other videos you'll know that um, I have painted on some of these silicone molds before and they don't really want to take the paint but that doesn't matter you just kind of keep putting it on. So as you can see it kind of resists paint but if you do a couple coats all of a sudden it'll start to accept it better. The stuff has dried and now what I'm planning on doing is I'm going to use a red pearl and a purple metallic to test. This might take two coats. I'm suspecting that it will. It could even take three. This is what the first coat looks like when it's dry. So you can see all the different um, spider webby kind of things happening. So I'm going to put another coat on there and it will coat just a little bit better and probably I'll need a third coat. And this is what I have so far. Now I'm going to take this Martha Stewart glass paint in a pearl. I'm not going to cover everything. I'm just going to kind of outline the raised areas because there's no way I'm going to get that perfect. So just like that, I'm going to go over all of the raised areas. So I've prepared my resin. I'm using the Easy Cast. You can do Envirotex Light. Use whichever um, resin you're most comfortable with. And I've done about three ounces here. I have some black India ink and some silver pigment powder. Um, I want it to have kind of a deep dark look, but I want some of the shimmer of the pigment powder, hopefully, to shine through as well. So I'm going to stick a little stir stick in here, add it, then I'm going to just pour it right in. I probably could have gotten away with two ounces rather than the three, just so you know. I'm going to let the bubbles rise to the top and as they do, I'll hit it with the lighter and let it sit. I'm going to let this sit overnight. This layer of the butterfly has cured, so now we want to embed a hook, and you've probably seen me do it before. I have some wire. All you need is some inexpensive wire, either from the craft store or from um, the hardware store, whatever works. You want it to be a little bit on the thicker side. And I'm just going to create this little loop. I'm going to twist it together once, or twice, however many times you want. Okay, and I need this part to be outside of the resin and this part will be embedded in the resin. And that will give us a secure way to hang this. I have some super glue just to keep it in place. And I want to make sure when it's laying flat that it's not going to be showing over any part because I want this to be completely hidden behind the piece. So now I'm going to add some super glue. You don't need to do super glue. You can do whatever glue you want. Anything just to tack it in place. We want to make sure that it stays put. Okay, so the only place that I applied the glue is where I twisted it and to the leggy, leggy parts of it. I'm going to press this down, make sure it makes contact with the piece. You could attach that with hot glue too, it wouldn't matter. It's just to keep it in place when we pour the resin. So I'm going to let that dry and then we'll pour some resin. I prepared some more resin. I'm going to add some more of the black India ink just to kind of keep it consistent. And I'm going to just pour it right in. And I'll let it spread around. And if you'll notice, I bent the wire up so that the whole thing wouldn't get stuck in there. Now I'll let the bubbles rise to the top. Run my lighter over to pop them. Set a minimum of 12 hours before I come back. And then we can unmold it and see how it turned out. Alright you guys, I'm anxious to unmold this and see how that red paint turned out. I was hoping it gave it maybe a little bit of a crackly look or so. So I think it looks pretty cool. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. Also let me know what is your favorite symbol of spring? Is it like a butterfly, a dragonfly, um, a tulip? 
anything let me know that in the comments below as well and if you haven't subscribed yet be sure to do that so you don't miss a thing in the meantime stay safe and happy crafting we'll see you next time if you haven't yet remember to subscribe in the meantime you can watch these fun videos remember life's too short not to shimmer so grab your glue gun and your glitter